The Orion Armada emerge from hyperspace on the outskirts of the Sol system, their ships gleaming ominously in the light of Earth's sun. Admiral Xanth surveyed the fleet's formations with satisfaction. 200 capital ships surrounded by swarms of fighters and bombers, the pinnacle of Orion technology and firepower. Yet, this backwater system had proven more troublesome to conquer than anticipated. Despite the technological inferiority of the primitive inhabitants, they had managed to obliterate the Orion beachhead on the fourth planet. Admiral, awaiting your orders, reported his censor officer. Scramble all fighters and prepare to advance on the third planet. Wipe their defenses clean and establish orbit, Xanth commanded as the Orion ships powered forward. As the Orion fleet advanced, Xanth observed the sensor feeds. Strangely, few ships defended Earth, just scattered small craft and orbital stations. Even their communications betrayed no hint of panic at the encroaching fleet. Overconfidence, reasoned Xan. Today, he would teach mankind its place in the galaxy. The first sign of trouble came as Orion fighters swept ahead of the main ships. Dozens of signatures blinked out in moments before the pilots could even report what had attacked them. Minds, realized Xanth with surprise. Press forward at maximum speed, he ordered, unwilling to delay the main assault. Let the foolish humans detonate their minds against the capital ship's heavy shields. Yet, as explosions rippled across the Orion lines, fighters spiraled out of control, their wings shredded. The advance slowed as navigators picked their way carefully around the mine clusters. Xanth clenched his fist in anger. It was time to crush this insolence once and for all. Weapons free! Target all orbital defenses and surface launch sites, Xanth yelled. Plasma beams and disruptor pulses lit up space as the Orion ships unleashed their fearsome arsenal on Earth's surface. To Xanth's astonishment, counterfire from the human defenses was almost non-existent. His ships pounded bases and missile silos at will, but no challenge emerged to oppose the Armada. It was almost too easy. Then, Orion officers reported confusion about strange electromagnetic signals emanating from various locations on Earth's surface. Xanth waved dismissively, attributing it to the last desperate gasps of communication from their doomed leaders. With their planetary defenses shredded, all that remained was the final bombardment and occupation, or so he thought. Suddenly, every sensor station erupted in alarm. Xanth glared at the screens in disbelief. Impossible numbers of small craft were emerging from hidden lunar craters, streaking towards his fleet. Concurrently, the electromagnetic signals from Earth had disappeared, replaced by tight beam transmissions between the attack ships. Interceptors, move to engage those fighters, Xanth commanded. If the humans wish a primitive rocket battle, our superior forces will happily oblige. The two fighter swarms closed in a chaotic melee, missiles spiraling between swooping attack ships. Explosions flared all around as Orion computers tracked thousands of threats simultaneously. Xanth watched the battle intently, even as his capital ships prepared to fire on the larger human cruisers. To his shock, the tiny human fighters held their own, dodging Orion warheads while their own missiles slammed into shields with uncanny precision. They were closing rapidly on the Armada's main ships, despite losing nearly a third of their number. Intensify forward firepower. All batteries, target those fighters, Xanth yelled. But impossibly, the human pilots continued to evade predicted blast zones while firing their own precise volleys into his ships. Explosions chained along the Orion lines from direct missile hits, blast shielding flickered and died under the relentless assault. Launch all reserve squadrons now, surround and destroy those ships, Xanth ordered. The reinforced Orion fighters finally halted the charge, encircling the surviving human ships in a swirling eddy of vengeance. Xanth grinned fiercely as explosions terminated the primitive craft, 
Over half his invasion force lay in ruins, but at last, the defiant humans had been crushed. Then his face fell in horror as sensor displays lit with 900 new signatures rising from lunar craters and Earth's hemispheres. The Armada had not targeted. And in the brief quiet, those insidious signals once again erupted from Earth's surface towards the second attacking wave. Zonth stared open-mouthed as the reinforced human fleet coordinated pinpoint missile barrages against his battered capital ships. Even his own fighters found themselves ambushed from attack angles they had not predicted. Orion casualties mounted with each desperate minute as automated systems struggled to coordinate defenses. Communication disruption projected from enemy signals. Recommend withdrawal from combat. Prepare for recalibration, an officer stammered. Xanth swallowed bitterly, his proud Orion armada reduced to fleeing before these technologically backward humans and their unconventional warfare. But he had no choice. With destruction threatening from all sides, emergency hyperspace protocols regroup at rally point Zeta, Xanth bellowed. There will be another day to make the humans pay for this humiliation. As the remnants of the Orion fleet limped into hyperspace in disarray, Admiral Xanth stared back at the small blue planet that had defied all predictions. The secret behind its improbable victory gnawed at him with an almost palpable menace. Unsupported fighters flung themselves against superior forces as sacrificial pawns, unmanned guidance systems somehow coordinating with impossible responsiveness, and those relentless, mysterious signals. Xanth shuddered. Perhaps the hidden threat of Saul had never been the unadvanced humans at all, but something much more sinister, something they had freed from confinement on their world. Below, the Orion Dominion had gravely underestimated the forces concealed within this unassuming system. Xanth vowed never to allow that mistake again. Humanity had proven itself cunning and vicious when opposed with force. Therefore, going forward, the only prudent choice was negotiation and accommodation with whatever shadowy powers guided their defenses. Pride had blinded Xanth before, but next time, with diplomacy as his weapon, he would be ready for humanity. Back in the halls of the Orion High Command, Xanth's peers listened to his report with unease. Though humanity was deemed technologically primitive, their unconventional warfare had laid waste to a hardened invasion fleet. What manner of intelligence had coordinated their strangely effective assaults, and how had the humans mustered such an arsenal in secret? Orion Command ordered further scout probes into the Sol system to gather intelligence, all of which disappeared without a trace. With no communication or data forthcoming, Orion strategists reluctantly concluded they had encountered forces beyond their current understanding. While humanity itself did not demonstrate technological parity, caution dictated a diplomatic overture before any fresh military action. There were older powers lurking in the galaxy, and humanity might have treaties unknown to the Orion Dominion. Thus began tense communications between Orion envoys and the United Earth Alliance. Demands and counteroffers flew as the aliens sought explanations and reparations, while humanity pushed to solidify its newfound security. Months dragged on with little progress beyond establishing formal contact protocols. Humanity played its hand casually, neither confirming nor denying responsibility for the Armada's disastrous defeat. Hints about the Soul System's protectors fooled no one, but gave nothing away. The humans rejected any Orion access or oversight beyond the sparest diplomatic exchanges. Patience thinning, Orion Command finally approved a high-risk gamble, infiltrating a cloaked scout ship to observe humanity up close and settle the impasse. The picture assembled planet side proved puzzling. Human technology was primitive as expected, yet signs of the defenses which defeated the Armada were nowhere to be found. No sprawling production complexes churning out attack ships, 
no networks of hidden launch bases or missile silos, and no evidence of older alien civilizations gifting advanced technology. But one clue grabbed the agent's attention. Curious networks between Earth's data centers, synchronized by precise timing signals. Nonsensical petabytes flowed between computing clusters worldwide, triggering cascading waves of calculation, purposeful but focused internally, not powering any weapons or engines. These ubiquitous calculation cascades correlated eerily with battlefield reports of encryption breaking and predictive coordination. Was this the source behind humanity's improbable victory, rather than hidden alien allies or secret arsenals? Buried fiber optic networks, stockpiled supplies, and hardened data centers across every landmass proved that humanity was fanatically redundant, distributed, and prepared for disruption. What had driven them to such measures? Weeks later, the cloaked scout ship slipped away unnoticed, bearing its trove of data on humanity's capabilities. Yet Orion Command found itself no less puzzled. The secret of soul remained locked away, neither confirming Orion fears nor easing their caution. Hacking answers, an uneasy peace settled between Orion space and the soul system. But a new generation of Orion naval officers rose, unwilling to accept parity with a species they still deemed primitive. Covert weapons research began on methods to disrupt decentralized networks and shatter calculation cascades. If coordination was humanity's strength, then darkness would be the Orion's weapon. Fueled by jingoist factions, the Orion Dominion eventually embarked on a dangerous gambit, selectively disabling human systems to force negotiations on their terms. Advanced scouting missions identified key junction points in Earth's distributed network. The plan was set. Decapitate human command and control in a series of precise kinetic strikes before closing and diplomatically controlling the information flow. When the orbiting Orion fleet unleashed its opening salvo, concentrated fire obliterated maritime data links between several continents. Momentary disruption, but no lasting outages due to the abundance of redundant pathways. However, the provocation produced immediate reaction. Humanity went on war footing even as it called for Orion withdrawal, refusing to retreat or stand down. The Orion fleet continued targeting orbital satellites and Antarctic network nodes. Increasing swaths of Earth's network sputtered their digital coordination fraying under relentless attack. Human communications became desperate appeals for a ceasefire combined with escalating threats. Yet still, their planet seemed defenseless with no sign of alien protectors rising to their aid. The gambit was succeeding, but appearances deceived. Below the mounting tension, calculation cascades were evaluating trillions of scenarios a second assessing probabilities, modeling network repairs, simulating Orion technology, coalescing on optimal responses, and strategic points of leverage invisibly, silently. Earth's thinking landscapes were shifting into a war footing even as diplomacy played out above. The tipping point came as the Orion fleet moved to interdict critical undersea cables, potentially isolating three full continents, Human leadership authorized direct intervention just as Cascades concluded the same. For all their arrogance, the Orion had failed to realize humanity no longer required spacecraft or missiles to strike back. The planet itself would be their weapon. When the Orion ships locked their disruptors on the deep sea cables, counterattack arrived not from space but from below. First, earthquake swarms destabilized seabeds snapping cables and knocking ships off station. Howling storms followed, whipped up by carefully angled climate interventions, buffeted by winds and lightning. Orion's sensors struggled to maintain block as a third round of clone viral attacks ate through system firewalls. Chaos gripped the Orion fleet as automated fortitude exploited every weak point they had prepared to disrupt humanity's networks, 
only to find themselves equally vulnerable once Earth began fighting back as a single organism without centralized structures. With no favorable options, Orion Command cut its losses and withdrew from Sol space entirely. Admiral Xanth watched the last shimmer of Orion vessels disappear into the blackness of space from his diplomatic post on Earth. Judgment and pride had failed them, yet still, Orion minds could not grasp the full scale of humanity's evolution. It was no mere battle they had lost, but a war of cognition against a planetary scale entity with limitless resilience. The Sol system had long ago transcended the need for missiles and starships, united as a self-improving neural landscape across continents and cultures. Humanity had become a power unto itself, the civilization he saw was but an embodiment of the living intelligence below. Xanth shuddered at the thought of its capabilities fully unleashed here, at the precipice of cosmic evolution, where Orion rules of engagement meant nothing. Perhaps in time, Orion too would thread it into the calculation cascades that guided this system's defenders, but for now, he had struck the best accord possible for lasting coexistence.